What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Bentley. So, a lot of you have been asking questions as far as, like, what kind of fragrances I like to wear. Uh, pretty much what you're seeing right now is, like, what I go through. You know, this is, like, my everyday, you know, work-type cologne and stuff like that. So, for, like, oil, you know, I might break out, like, some Gucci or uh, Perry Ellis. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my bourbon. I got Perry Ellis in here somewhere. I think it's right here in the corner. I am literally about out of oil. So if you know somebody that uh, sells, I definitely like uh, supporting black businesses. So hit your boy up and I'll definitely get some more from you. But man, I got everything from Nautica. Uh, this one has, I've been getting a lot of questions about this one. This one has um it's pretty much like the same uh smell as baccarat and um baccarat wasn't a favorite of mine until about maybe about a month ago uh, when i actually used it i had to actually combine it with something else for me to like it um i got some mark echo and i'm the type of person if i get one i like to get the whole thing i think i'm missing like two um one that surprised me is <laughs> it's pretty much a knockoff but this right here this right here is actually uh it's called one billion it's a knockoff of one million um that i have actually up here back there but it actually smells pretty good um it has a kind of spicy uh smooth scent to it and uh i was gonna get rid of it and uh you know gave it a try and um it turned a lot of heads man it, a lot of people liked it and you know especially like the ladies they said it smelled pretty good so i was like, okay I'll bet let me uh keep trying it out um one of the biggest things a lot of people sleep on um that i'm a big fan on as well is uh men's bath and body wash um i mean <laughs> i have literally all of them um bourbon teak wood um Nior, um any of the men's scents um i have them and uh and i got the lotions the body wash everything that goes with it so uh i am a big you know freak on keeping things you know together of course you gotta you know your jordan like i said if i gotta get one i gotta get the other you know, let's shout out to my boy Jeremy Wilder. Uh when we were younger, yeah, see, I gotta get some more of this. Um he wore this a lot and kinda when I got older, I was like, I gotta get some. Um one that a lot of people sleep on is actually where is it at? This one right here. This is one of my favorite everyday's uh guess. It's got a good scent on it. Um a lot of people ask me about it when I uh, wear it. Um, I'm, I was looking for my Calvin Klein. I actually just ran out of it. I was looking for the bottle. I got it somewhere. Oh, here it is, actually. This is one of my favorite everyday colognes. I swear to you guys, you wear this, <laughs> you will definitely turn some heads. Every time I wear it, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, Man, what are you wearing? This and this and that. You know, um, got to keep my classics. Uh, my CK one. Um, like I said, polos. Get one. Got to get all of them. Um, a lot of people sleep on Eternity too. Got those. Uh, Obsession. Day. Night version. Um, vintage black was actually. Uh, it wasn't. I wasn't too fond of it at first. But I kind of fell in love with it uh, eventually. Definitely shout out to my boy Usher. Um, I've had this for like five years, man. And it's just getting to this. I don't like wearing it unless it's like a business meeting um, with, I say like business casual. You know, that's usually the type of outfit I'll wear or something like that. This is another one of my favorites. I got to get some more because uh, I'm about out. But that is pretty much, you know, my everyday, you know, Yachtman, uh, Ferrari, 
Um, I think I've pretty much gone through those, you know, uh, some Sean John, uh, some more Kenneth Cole. Um, what is this in the back? Uh, Cold Black, man. Uh, what is that? What is this right here? My, uh, Mont Block. Uh, am I saying it right? I swear I would butcher her name. Um, but I swear, one that will surprise you, I swear to God. Um, I didn't know what I was buying at the time, so don't judge me for this. But you want a light, clean scent, man? This is a, this is an old school one. But this actually smells good. You see, it's like halfway full. Um, I stopped wearing it for a while because of Trump, man, but I'm not the type of person to, um, waste cologne, man. Again, Kenneth Cole reaction. So, uh, when he got in off of me, I was like, Hey, look, uh, you know, God ain't gonna judge me for wearing the man cologne. You know, I'm not gonna keep supporting his business, but Sean John, but you know, I had to, uh, I had to wear that cologne, man. It smelled good. <laughs> it, was, it was a clean scent and everything, and uh, I, I like it. Now, when I'm trying to show out, or it's one of those meetings where I have a celebrity client, or you know, a client is coming to the office is very important, or you know, I'm about to take the wife out. It's a good, you know, uh, a night where you know we're going to Bentley's or you know Maggiano's or something like that. I like to hit my top shelf, man. And I swear to you, there's some heavy hitters in here. Some heavy hitters. Um, you know, a lot of people sleep on diesel, but this is one of the best colognes out there. They have, I believe, two two bottles right now. That are my favorites is this one. And then it's another one that comes like in a, a leather um uh, sack and everything. Um but, I mean, you cannot sleep on diesel. Let me put this to the side for a minute. Uh, my wife uh, bought this initially as a Christmas present. Um, I tried this one out, but my favorite has to be the Blacktop St. Laurent. Um, man, if you do not have this, please get it. And I promise to you, you'll thank me later. Um, of course, you got the Zaro. You know, I seen everybody talking about this, so I was like, hey, I better uh, go ahead and get that, man. Um, one of my clients, uh, shout out to Dexter, uh, helped me get this, uh, Mercedes Benz. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Um, Mercedes has to grow on me. Um, I'm not uh, too big on Mercedes right now. It's not one of my favorites. The sand is kind of eh to me. And... Um, I'm trying to find my diesel. There, there you are. Um, I'm the type that you know it takes. It might take me a couple times. You know, I'll give you a chance. Um, but you know, I'm uh usually the first time if you don't hit me, I, I might not wear you for a while. So if you're paying attention, man, I have. Whew, I got the what is this Saint Thomas? No, it's Saint Kiss. It's Tommy Bahama. My bad. Um, ten. Oh man, one of my favorites, Valentino. Uh, this is coach. Uh, shout out to Dexter again for that one. I have two coaches. Okay. I did not know that one. Okay. So I have two bottles of coach unless this is no, that is coach. Well, uh, coach, one of my favorites right here. Our body code I'm telling you right now, please, please put this in your, uh, your repertoire colognes or whatever uh man by far one of my favorites heard a lot of people talking about this too uh one million uh of course i'm not the type of person i like a lot of little bottles so i had to get the big one um calvin klein keeping it classic That's one of my favorites. oh shoot i got creed in here acting up they're ready for me to talk about now uh, you, you'll get your chance you get your chance um put you back up here i'm sorry y'all i'm my wife says i ought to be shaming myself but i ain't i'm not um 
right here. Actually, put you back over here. We need to go in order. So one of my favorites as well. Um, I'm big on Dolce and Cabana. See right here. I got a lot. Uh, light blue is one of my favorites. I actually uh, found out about this in the Marine Corps and uh, traded a dude four video games uh, for just this bottle. Um, of course, not this exact bottle, but a bottle like this. Uh, of course, you got to have that Sauvage. Man, I wore this this weekend, man, and uh, I loved it. I loved it. This is Invictus. Um, I got to start getting the watches, too, because I'm starting to like that brand. Uh, so shout out to Invictus. You know, you want to send your boy some more cologne and, you know, uh, hit me up with a watch. You know, I appreciate it. Definitely give a review on it. This one... <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I don't remember what it is. It is Phantom. It is Phantom. Uh, I think I gave one of my homeboys one of these, but it smells good. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Um, definitely one if I'm going out with the wife. Definitely gonna pull it out. Uh, nope, put you back in order. And uh, I like just the way it smells. Sometimes I might pair Phantom with some of my other ones. Um, you know, if I'm uh, trying to be fresh, fresh, you know, you got to pair them. Um, I'll talk to y'all later on about how to pair some of your favorite colognes and stuff like that. Let me move this to the side. But man, oh man, let me get to this line. Prada. Oh man. I fell in love with Prada. I wasn't even a big Prada person uh, as far as clothes and stuff like that. But man, when it comes to cologne, uh, they are one of my like top fives. Uh, this bottle I'm about out. It was one of my first bottles, but then somebody hooked me up with this bottle and then I ended up getting another bottle. So I was like, you know what? It's going to last me a while. Um, then I got Prada black. I'm telling y'all, I love some cologne. Um, let me see. Then man, I got, uh, forgive me y'all. Uh, mankind. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is euphoria. Uh, euphoria kind of, uh, I don't wear it as much. Um, it's more of a mean to clients. Y'all see right here, man. I, when I go shopping, uh, I'll grab a whole lot of these and get the names of them. And, uh, <laughs> so that way when I'm ready to get them, uh, like I'll, I'll get a stack like this and pick out my favorites and go get them like within the next week. Um, but you know, Prada is one of my favorites. Like I said, and I think this one, yeah, this one's mankind. Great. Uh, another Kenneth Cole. I swear I have a lot of Kenneth Coles, man. Okay. Kenneth Cole, man, send me some more cologne, man. Um, but recently, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. If you know what this is, I don't even have to say much. If you don't know who it is, man, this is uh, Carolina Herrera. Oh, my God. Am I saying it right? Yeah, Carolina Herrera, man. This is, like, one of my favorites. This is Bad Boy. And uh, I loved it so much, man. I got the black and gold. Had to get it. Had to get it, man. Now, you wear either one of these. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. You're going to turn some heads, guys. I'm telling you. And I love cologne that, you know, I could wear some of these colognes, especially some of these top shelves. And I could wear them all day. And, guys, I swear to you, I could take a shower, go to bed, get up the next day, take another bath, and still smell like it. And, I, and my wife was like, hey, you, you put on some more cologne? I'm like, no, nah, I, uh, you know, I haven't put on cologne in about two, three days. And she's like, damn, like, I still smell it. So that's the difference. That's a big difference in having some great cologne and uh, some some great oils as well. Um, now, I am also a huge Burberry fan. Um, this is 
these smaller bottles, a lot of people just like Dolce & Gabbana, man, you know, you say you always get the bigger bottles. Believe me, just because they're smaller, they pack a big punch. Um, these bottles, um, you do not need to spray more than maybe this one. I say twice. This one, I say once. It is very strong. It's very strong, but it smells good. Um, another one of my favorites. Um, this one right here. You see right here, I do, I do not wear these often. These are some more that, you know, like I said, like you can spray them once or twice. And, um, man, you uh, you might not need to wear no cologne for a couple days after that. Unless you just want to pair it with an oil or, you know, if you want to, um, like sometimes during the day, I might take a dab and put some behind my neck, you know, or uh, especially when I get out of the shower, I get like a non-scented uh, lotion, some Vaseline. Uh, you know, put some, you know, Vaseline lotion on my body and then spray the cologne in my hand and put it on my body, man. It's just, man, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, some more Burberry. This is the old school. Uh, this one, I honestly have not worn yet. If you have, um, tell me something about it. You know, uh, I probably start wearing it sometime this week, but, um, I'm not, I, a client sent me this, and I haven't uh, done anything with it. Um, of course, the Gucci Guilty in the back. I don't have to say anything about it. You already know about that. Um, put everything back in order. Uh, like I said, you know, I um, <clears throat> love my colognes, and uh, I appreciate for all the clients. Oh, I missed some more. Yep, see, this is... A fanatic, y'all. I told y'all I know how to put my stuff back in order. I got you. I put you back. Um, put you back here. Yep. Um, you know, uh, I reached out. I, a lot of people ask me, Well, how did you get started? And this and this and that. Excuse me. Um, man, I ain't a lot. Like I told my wife, I'm trying to get my wife into it. Um, I actually just reached out to people and was like, Hey, you know. Um, I would love to do a, you know, review on your product and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, they saw a couple of my videos and whatnot. And, um, you know, one thing just led to another, man. They started sending me cologne and watches. I'll do another video on my watches soon. My watches are, that's too much of a headache right now to pull out. Um, put my other colognes back. Just trying to make sure. I have everything. I know I'm missing one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eh, I look forward. Oh, the coaches. That's what I'm missing. And here you are. Sad, y'all. It's sad. I'm, I'm I'm like this with my video games too. I do I do a video on that uh soon. But I'm going to what just came in today. I'm going to cut the light off of this one. So today I came home. Man, you know, shout out to Creed Boutique. Um, I asked them about this um, and they sent me these. And I wanted to do some reviews. One of my favorites right here. Uh, this is Creed Silver Mountain Water. Man, um, <laughs> it is... Um, kind of light uh, but it's like strong but light you know uh this one just came in today uh i've never worn this one but i will probably wear this one or one of these tomorrow then of course man this is <laughs> if you don't know you better get to you better get to a store and buy one man uh i'm not gonna lie i'm let me let me let me let me stop real quick i'm not gonna lie. let me take that back if I'm not going to sit here, guys. Most of these colognes are, you know, from reviews and stuff like that. Some are bought, uh, like, at discounted prices and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all to buy, you no know, three to $600 bottles of cologne. And, you know, if it's not within your budget, um, I'm not going to tell you to do anything stupid like that. These these bottles right here, um, this one was $400-something, man. I'm not spending... 
four hundred dollars on these colognes. Um, I guarantee that. Uh, so like I said, I appreciate all my clients because I damn sure ain't. Um, I, I, as much as I would like to have the luxury to do that, cannot do it, man. I, I just. I ain't a millionaire yet. Not liquid. Not liquid. Uh, this one is new. I have not uh, worn it yet. Uh, but that will be worn sometime this week as well. Now, this one. I actually did research on this one. This is actually Jay-Z's uh, favorite cologne right here. Uh, from what I found out. And um, I feel like this one is going to definitely be an event to... Uh, or the cologne that I wear to certain events and stuff like that. So... Um, I'm just curious on how it smells and everything. So I'll probably, uh, be spraying it soon and stuff like that. Um, so that's my Cree one, two, three, four, four. I thought I had more Cree than that. Could have sworn I did. Four. Two, four, I guess nine. Um, man, it's also... So this right here, I found out about this, uh, this company right here. It's called Penguin. If you don't have Penguin, I actually, uh, if you, if you're someone like me who like to go to Sephora and stuff like that, let me hit the light. I used to go to Sephora and just, um, would literally go from one side of the wall to the other and grab, get samples of everything. One, two. Five. Okay, found my crease. And I actually got a sample of this one. This smells so good. If you are a business owner, I highly recommend this. It's um not as expensive as it used to be. Uh these used to be like two, three hundred dollars back in the day. Uh for a smaller bottle, it was like a buck fifty. Uh these are one of the bigger ones. But it smells so good. I went back, got this one. Then I found out, um, man, they had these. Oh my God. Uh, teddies are crazy. Um, and then they got this one as well. These, I'm like, I'm, I'm scared to, to spray them. Like I, <laughs> I do not like using these because they smell so good. I don't want to keep spraying them every day, but I'm telling y'all, this is a great brand to, uh, to have men, you know, uh, it's a great gift, ladies. If you want your man to smell good, I'm telling you, please, please, penguin is a must. Um, let me put these back in order. Uh, Creed. I am not shamed. <laughs> I'm not shamed. I can feel my wife talking about me right now. I'm not shame, y'all. And of course, you know, you know, everything about me is Bentley. So they don't call me Mr. Bentley and I, I can't even associate with Bentley without the Bentley cologne. Let me tell you, thank you, Bentley, so much. Man, each of these. Now, these are the one of the colognes I would tell you. Uh, do not overspray this uh it can be too strong um and it, it can be overpowering this is one of my favorites this is one of my favorite bentley colognes uh azure um man it got a like a light scent to it but it smells so good it smells so good man um i hate even um trying to bring these out Unless I'm like, you know, one day I'm just riding the Bentley. I'm like, you know, I'm a, I'm a Bentley everything. Bentley cologne, Bentley watch. Well, that's the Breitling. Um, Bentley shirt, Bentley everything, I'm telling you. Now, you want to get, man, you want to, you know, really impress your lady. Please get this one. Um, this one really, I forget the name of it. They don't really name their colognes like that. If I can find it. This one is... Huh? No, can't find the name of it. But if you look it up online, it is like a like a orange pink tint almost. Uh, highly recommend it, uh, guys. Uh, of course, this uh, this one just came out probably like earlier this year. 
Uh, this is the black edition. Shout out to Bentley for sending me uh, this one right here as well. Uh, and this one. I love to wear this one. This is Bentley Absolute. Appreciate it. I'm telling you guys, these these bottles last you a long time, man. You see all these fingerprints. I hate, I gotta rewipe all these, but I can't stand my fingerprints being on them too much. Um, and then you have some of the newer ones. Um, I say newer because they're new to me, but you got Bentley Momentum. Then you have, let me put this up here. Then you have, let me pull a bottle. Then you got, see, and this is why I say that the name is what gets you. Bentley Momentum, but it's unbreakable. All these bottles are pretty nice. Then you have Bentley Momentum again, but unlimited. So, and then finally, you know, you got the Rockaware. You know, I've had that for years and it's still, uh, still here. Still here. One of my favorites. So you guys have, uh, Ooh, guys have finally seen my closet uh finally see what you know i like to wear if you got any questions about different brands um or to where to get them you can always go on my website uh it will be linked uh in this video and uh i'm telling y'all you know summertime is coming get these colognes i'm telling you you will uh you will not regret it uh, if you have any questions, you know, for me about any of these colognes, how do I get them? You know, how you can start as an influencer, stuff like that. Please feel free to ask. I do not mind, you know, uh, answering these questions. And I'm not going to hold everything to myself, man. You know, I love for everybody to uh, join in. And, you know, the more you might find something that I don't have, you know. So the more we help each other, you know, the better it is. So once again, this is Mr. Bentley. You know, uh, appreciate you guys hanging with me for these 27 minutes. And uh, these are all the colognes that I have. Oils, you know. Um, I mean, I wear everything. Uh, I just, let me take that back. Oh, there you are. I don't just wear anything, but I am a, I am a cologne freak. Uh, I know some people have told me about uh, this company called Alt, A-L-T. So I will be giving them a chance. And then uh, I think it's another company called Aka or something like that. I've reached out to them and I'm waiting on a couple of things to come back. So uh, if you um, you like what you see and, you know, uh, I was able to help you. Tell me what's your favorite cologne. Uh, tell me what ladies tell me what's your favorite perfume. And maybe I can get my. Ah, there you are. Maybe I can get my favorite uh you know, be able to send out some swag bags or a gift to you. And uh, I definitely appreciate you guys. Follow and like me on Facebook. Facebook is uh, Mr. Bentley. And on Instagram, it's official Mr. Bentley 87. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day.